If you want to make reaction videos, either a horizontal reaction video for a long form YouTube video or a vertical reaction video just like this, I'm going to show you how to do this on your phone with the CapCut app. Let's just skip the intro and do this is helpful or not. If this video is helpful, we're going to give you a thumbs up. If it's not, we're going to give you a thumbs down. So let's take this journey, me and you, and see if this video is really helpful. We are going to take you through entire journey if this video was helpful. Thank you. Give us a comment if you think it was helpful and give us a like. Thank you dive into it. Now I'm going to break this up into two chapters. The first chapter is going to be covering how to capture the reaction video and record it. And then the second part is going to be how do we actually edit it all together inside of CapCut. Now the first method to capture your reaction is to For your own benefit, you should know that CapCut uses internet. You have to have a internet access, Wi-Fi or data or any cellular. Doesn't really matter. You have to have access to the internet have two devices that both have a screen recording ability first thing i would do is get a tripod if you don't have one and you want to buy one i'll leave this one linked down below because i love it but you're going to set up your phone to capture your face and you're just going to record it what you'd expect film with the front facing camera and then if you have a second device whether it's an old android phone an ipad a computer something where you'd be able to capture the screen as you're reacting to it because oftentimes in reaction videos people will pause the video they give some comments on the video continue playing it click pause again so you kind of want that natural pausing effect to be recorded and this is the most ideal way to do this like even if you can convince like your friend or your parent or your spouse to like borrow their phone for when you're recording reaction videos just so you can screen record while you're reacting it makes it so much easier later on when you're editing this all together now for samsung you just got to slide down twice on the menu settings and you'll see the screen recording button right there you can just click on that and it'll be able to capture the audio there's also third-party apps if you have an android phone that doesn't have a built-in screen recorder you can get those um, on iphone it is also pretty similar you're just going to slide down from the top left and you'll see the screen recording button on the bottom if you don't have it there you just got to turn it on in your iPhone settings so as long as you've got at least two spare devices laying around you'll be able to record your screen and also be able to record your face with another device so once I click record on my iPhone and I click record on the screen recording I can begin so why should we have two phones and actually sing the video at the, at the same time? This is actually to catch your expression, the immediate expression that you get by watching the video so that the viewer gets the feeling that you are actually trying to portray to them. Yes, that's the why. I'm here just to give you the whys and the do's and the do not and the Making my video, set up, you know, the intro for my reaction video, I'm able to click play, and then later in the editing part, we can actually sync this up so they're, you know, the screen recording and my reaction are happening at the same time. Now let's talk about what if you only have one device and you really don't have another device that can actually... For the people who have one device, now this is the place where you need to listen, like us. I have one device which I'm using currently right now. We have to listen to this. Screen record, like maybe you have a TV that you can react to the videos on, but you only have one device to record. Maybe you have a really old Android device or iPhone and it can't screen record. Then what you would want to do is you're still going to record your reaction. So you're going to set up your phone still. Boom, set up. And then on that old device or on your TV, you're just going to record your reaction to the video. Even though you're not recording the screen with the, the video playing, you're at least going to record your reaction. So I'm going to sit there, I'm going to react to my video, blah, 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 that goes through. Once that is done, I can then take this device and go back and rewatch the video while screen recording. So in my settings, I'm gonna click that record button. I'm gonna then go to that YouTube video, flip it to horizontal, click play, let it run through, stop the screen recording. And now I have a video of me reacting to that video. And now I have a video clip because of the screen recording of that entire video. And now we just gotta go into the editor and sync that. And now inside of CapCut, all I have to do is click new project and then click on the reaction video first. So I'm gonna click on this, add this in. So we're just gonna pretend this is what I'm reacting to. And then what we're gonna do is go to overlay at the bottom, add overlay and add our video in of us reacting. And then using our fingers, we can usually pinch on this clip here 
and be able to rearrange it anywhere. So I can put myself up in the corner to watch the reaction video. If I really want to, I could click on the video, scroll over on the bottom settings, over to the remove BG button, and then click auto removal. And I could actually remove my background if I really wanted to, and maybe I put myself down here. Just that way my screen isn't taking up so much space. And there we go, I'm reacting to the video. I've got that all going on, perfect. And then you probably just wanna look for a notable time where you reacted in an interesting way, and that'll probably help you line up the overlay video with your actual reaction video. But what if we were doing this in a vertical video for something like TikTok, Shorts, Reels? Well, first, we just gotta change our project here. So on the bottom, I'm gonna scroll over. I'm gonna go to Aspect Ratio, and then I'm gonna switch this to TikTok. There we go. And then I just gotta resize everything. So that reaction video, I'm just going to click on it, pinch with my fingers here, and I'm actually going to align it like this. That seems good for now. And then I could probably get rid of the remove background effect. So I could just have the video here as a square and put that on the bottom if I wanted to. And then I've got a vertical reaction and I could do the same thing. If I wanted to remove the background there and just have a colored background, you know, I could do that. But now I've got the reaction going on. I've got the split screen and I've got those two things going on at once. And then the final last step is to click the subscribe button so that way you get more CapCut editing tips and tricks. We're trying to hit 100K subscribers by the end of this year. Your subscription helps me accomplish that. And hey, we do more CapCut videos, obviously. So go check out some of our other videos here and I'll see you over there. We can confidently say that this guy know what he was doing and he's a good teacher because we have learned a lot all together. If you have reached the this place where we are at the end of this video, you have learned something and actually you can do a lot of things with this app we call App CapCut. So please go and watch this video at its own page. If you like to, you may support him. And thank you for being with us until now. You, this actually means a lot to us. Thank you.